Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Minecraft Salvage. In this video, I'll be telling you how to install the Galacticraft for version 1.6.4. So if you come over to the Minecraft Forge, this link will be in the description. This is how you, you basically install your mods and whatnot. If you come down to the Forge downloader, the 1.6.4 version you want to download from server 1. So if we open that, it'll bring up this page and you just click the download button and it'll download down here. Some of these other servers will have like pop-ups like crazy and slow down your computer and stuff. So I, I just highly recommend using the server 1 for that. But anyways, you download that and then you need to download three more files, which is on this site. This is basically the Galacticraft site. So we come down here. And there's the build number. You want to get your latest build number, the newest one. And you come over here to the artifacts. There are going to be three files. You need to download all three of them. So the McDoodle Core, Galacticraft Planets, and just Galacticraft. Download all three and then put them into some kind of folder or just on your desktop or whatever. I have them into this Galacticraft folder here. And so the first thing that we're going to want to mess with is the Minecraft Forge installer. Just forget about these three for now. We're going to get back to them later. So if you're not set to running it with Java, you need to right click, open, open up this, go to properties, and then as you can see here, it's set for Java right now. But if yours is set to WinRAR, you need to hit the change button and then change it to Java. So hit OK, hit apply, hit OK, and then double click on the Forge installer, and it'll bring this up. So the first thing you'll notice is these three buttons. Don't don't check these two. Extra and server, just don't bother with those. There's no point. Go to install client. This is where it'll install Forge onto your Minecraft. So you click on that, you hit OK, and it'll start downloading all the libraries and stuff that you need to run the mods. And so once it's done, you hit OK here, and you need to open up your Minecraft. We're still not going to mess with these three. We're just opening up our Minecraft in order to install the folders. Because when you install the Forge, it'll create a new oh, it'll create a new profile for you. See, my normal one is Guyarth, but now I have a Forge. And if you go to Edit Profile, it'll, you'll see here the release is for 1.6.4, which is what we want. So we save the profile and we hit Play. This will start downloading and installing all of the like the mod folder and the resource pack folder, that sort of thing, so they can eventually add in resource packs and install your mods. So as you can see here, Minecraft Forge, we go to the mods and you have to have these three. If you don't have the Forge, Mod Loader, or Coder Pack, if you don't have one of those three, it's not going to work. So you're going to have to go back and reinstall it. But for now, since it did work, we're going to quit the game and we need to go into our Minecraft folder. So I'm going to go to it, percent app data percent roaming and then we're going to go to our dot Minecraft and then open up our mods. So we come to our mods folder here and it is empty. If you have a mod already in here and you went ahead and loaded the forge and it crashed, the reason that it crashed is because those mods are an older version for the forge and so that forge can't run it. So you're going to need to empty this folder before running that. If it crashes, then you'll know what to do. So if it didn't crash, you're going to open up your mods. Come to here, you'll have these three. Highlight all three of them and drag them into here. And there you go, it's installed. It's, it's just that easy. So we're going to X out of this. We're going to open up our Minecraft, hit Run. And then eventually open up our profile and play Galacticraft. So I'm going to hit Play here and it should open up. Now what's really cool is with the older version when you hit play for Minecraft and it brought up this it would crash right here. This would crash and it would say you need to install this before being able to run it and there would be a link and you'd click on that, download it, and then add it to the mods folder. However, with the newest version you don't have to do that anymore. It's super cool. So I'm going to go to my single player. I've made a Galacticraft in creative mode one. I'm going to hit play on that just to give you an idea. And so we open it up and we should have the entire mod installed. And I'll be able to show you just a few little things here and there. See, as you can see here, it is fully installed. If you go to page two out of one, you'll have the Galacticraft tab, which is like Mars and Moon and stuff. And we have our three things, the tier rocket and stuff like that. 
And so the first thing they want to do is, you know, pl get. Well, this isn't really the first thing they want to do, but in creative mode, this is the first thing they want to do. But see here, you have the launch pad, and then this is so cool. It's <laughs> Everyone's got to point this out, don't they? The wonderful holding of the rocket. Mmm, those muscles. But so, you right click on the pad, and yay, you have your rocket. You right click on that. I'm, I can't fly right now because I, I have no fuel, but you know, it's really cool. There's even like a countdown timer, which is awesome. So, anyways, I hope that all of you enjoyed. If you like this video, click the like button or leave a comment and do subscribe. Also, I'm thinking of making a let's play of this, so leave that in the comment if you think that's a good idea, if you would want to see more, and I will gladly make some. So, thank you for watching.